the subway. Hello. We're getting Ubatuba. Hello vlog. Um, we're getting our food for the video. Ha. Hi! Hello! Good morning! And welcome to Snacks and Stories! I'm Annika! I'm Patricia! And we have acai bowls today! Uba As tuba! Acai? Acai! 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 I say acai too! Acai! Acai! Um, they're from Uba Tuba! Yeah! I got mango, blueberries, granola, and banana! I don't know what I got! Oh, we didn't take a thumbnail! We can do that right now! Okay. <laughs> I was gonna press one. It's fine. Wait, just just so like okay. I'll, I'll screenshot. Okay, great. There's our thumbnail. Um, so today is just a little casual. God damn, these mangoes look. They're juicy. No, this brown one. Oh. Anyways, today is just gonna be a little casual, little mukbang talk about life. We posted on our. Instagram story uh, to ask us questions, topics to talk about. So we will just be going through those and talking about whatever else is on our mind. So yeah, so. that's that. Let's take our bite. Mm. Oh god, delicious. I love acai. Me too. Oh god. Oh, we're in Akka's room. Oh yeah, we're in my room today. Woo woo. I live closer to the acai bowls. Mm-hmm. So, here okay. we are. This is Panchito. That's a sloth. I got it from Dave and Buster's. I've never been to Dave and Buster's. It's so fun. I love Dave and Buster's. How have you guys been? Thank you for subscribing, giving our videos views, DMing us. Annika got a DM saying that we're their favorite YouTubers. We love that for us. So, thank you. Um,. I think our first video now is at like a hundred views, and our most recent one is at let me see, is at fifty views. So thank you, we are truly Ooh. grateful. Raise the roof, woo woo. <laughs> um, so someone said, talk about life beyond beyond high school experience, and just anything. He said, anything? you hold your creativity. So life beyond high school experience. Annika, go first. Okay, after high school, I, okay, right after high school, I fucking loved it. Am I allowed to cuss? Mm-hmm. We're not, like, modern times. Okay, but... yeah. I loved it. I loved life after high school. I, I moved out, kind of, well, okay, so we live in L.A., Oh my gosh, it's gonna be good. I know, mine too, but I can't see. But I can't see either. <laughs> I, like, seriously cannot so see. So we're just gonna be, like, squinting at the camera. But that's fine. Okay, whatever. So, um, I moved out. And, which is not that far. It's, like, 40 minutes away. From where you live. With traffic. And, um, I don't know. My favorite part was the food, if I'm being honest. Because I feel like living at home, I had freedom. So, like I could do whatever I want but now it's like it's monitored freedom when you're at home you know yeah so when you're living on campus you can literally go to Target at like 10 p.m. and no one's gonna say no you know yeah maybe you're, somebody's gonna like judge you because you have like an 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. but yeah I feel that yeah um do you, you can talk a little bit about like, like how is your high school self different from your college self? How is your, yeah, like 16 year old you or like high school age different from who you are now? Okay. I feel like I am more excited about my classes now than I am than I was in high school because like you're able to choose your classes based on your major and the GEs that you're taking mm -hmm. like your schedule is really your schedule and not really anyone else's mm -hmm. and I think that's something that I hated in high school like I hated just 
having to go to yeah i don't know a history class about the fucking religious wars like i don't care i was talking to my brother about this and i was like it's so funny how in high school how you take like math science english history and like a couple electives and they expect you to know like what made what you want to major in. yeah but, like how do you know what you want to major in when there's literally hundreds of majors at colleges and universities and you take six classes that are all the same yeah. in high school anyways go on i definitely think i've learned more in college than i have like my all my years of high school or middle school mm -hmm. honestly once you're there I feel like it's just like practicing things that you've been told over and over and over again. Yeah. But in college, they're teaching you what you want to learn and like how to like apply yourself. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, That's that like sense. academic yeah. speaking, I guess. I don't know, socially. I didn't really do much my first year. So. It's all good. Honestly, like college, Whatever experience you want, you will get it. If you want to party and get drunk every weekend, then go fucking do you it. Can, you will get that. If you want to just. Responsibly. Yes. Exactly. And if you want to just chill and like make a couple friends and do good in your classes, you can do that too. Whatever you want out of your college experience, you can most definitely get that. It's yeah. like everyone thinks like. Not everyone, but I feel like there's this huge stigma that college has to be. Everyone thinks of the college experience as that socially like party you know mm -hmm. you know what i'm talking about but it does not have to you're be paying that. how much for school you have to remember that always mm -hmm. like you can't let yourself fall off mm -hmm. because you just wasted a whole bunch of money and if you want that experience like that's fine just make sure you have balance yes balance is so important mm -hmm. and it's it's hard to learn but you can do it yeah there's people to like help you there are! No, but I'm like thinking of Alyssa. Alyssa, if you're watching this, take this advice. Balance is key. Alyssa is my ex roommate. So, ex but she, she, we're still good. We're homies. We're good friends. Why do you say it like that? Because she is my ex roommate. But, okay, anyways, my two cents on um, life beyond, beyond high school experience. High school for me was, I enjoyed high school a lot, I would say had a lot of fun all of my friends that i made in high school i'm still pretty close with all of them we all still talk like at least on the weekly and um uh high school what i liked about it is just i really loved how it was like something you had to, to do every day mm -hmm. but you could see your friends like lunch and nutrition like you're always with your friends and always hanging out and it just feels so natural like after class you go hang out with your you know like it was just a i liked the routine aspect of it and knowing that i got to see like my same excuse me same friends every single day but high school is for sure like just like one small step in life and it do, you don't even have to be attending like a four-year university it could just be like community college and stuff but the experience is for sure different i can't speak upon like community college because i don't go there but for college i feel like i have changed in a way that i have for sure like prioritized myself more and like I've given myself a lot of more me time because in high school you're always just with your friends and always like surrounded by people and then after school you have like after school responsibilities then you see more people yeah. and then you get home and you do homework and you're fucking sad you know <laughs> but I feel like in college you have not that you have so much time but like after class and if you have a big break you could either spend it with friends or just take it time for yourself and yeah. like hang out with yourself so I've been like college has allowed me to feel comfortable hanging out with just me and stuff and I really enjoy that um I moved out of my home last year and then I moved all the way up to Davis so it was hard like because I would get homesick easily and I was in a relationship at the time so I would like miss that relationship of course but like missing home gives you time to appreciate it so that's what I enjoyed about college for sure and I enjoyed like all the memories I made with my friends and stuff and as 
Annika said she wasn't that social her first year and I would say I wasn't either but I am lucky that I had like a couple of I rather have oh okay in high school I feel like I was that especially my senior year I feel like I was that type of person to have so many friends yeah. but not close with any of them mm. uh, like a lot of them at all like senior year was I feel like I started venturing out and being like oh my god I've always wanted to talk to you let's talk mm -hmm. you know and it's like because it's your last year you just want to make all those like memories and stuff but I feel like now in college like I most definitely rather have just like a couple friends who I'm really close with and not a bunch who I'm like oh yeah I know them you know yeah I feel like in high school I, I miss that about high school like I could probably go like any I could go to the bathroom and see at least like two people that I know and be mm -hmm. like hey what's up like how are you but now like I well okay at, in college I know it is very cold sensitive teeth people be careful when eating acai bowls um yeah so living in the dorms the people I was the closest with was like the people who lived on my floor and so I didn't, I always like kind of depended on them to see like, oh, if we're going to do something, what are we going to do? Are mm -hmm. we going to go eat dinner here, dinner there? And it was just, I felt really shy. And I feel like I wasn't like that in high school. Like I was, I was more willing to just walk up to beat someone and be like, hey, how was your day? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I, I don't know. I guess because there's just so many people that you don't know you can't like be friends with everyone yeah you can't be friends with everyone and like in my major like I'm not friends with anyone who like is in my classes like all my friends I know because I live with them mm -hmm. and I spent the most time with them yeah I get that and at times I feel like it does suck and it makes you feel like fuck I have no friends mm -hmm. but you also have to remind yourself that in the end of the day it might sound so like tough love but you are there for school yeah. and academics and you cannot force people to be friends with you and stay in your life like don't chase after people let it be mutual let it let them come to you and you go to them you know and if you are ha if you're in college or if you're going to college and you f you're afraid to like afraid of not making friends i would most definitely recommend joining a club or an organization that you identify, enjoy, with. identify with, enjoy. Um, I joined Filipino, like the Filipino organization, and most of my friends are in that organization, so I'm lucky that I have met them through there. But you can join a club if you like a certain sport, certain anything, literally anything. There's probably like a million orgs and stuff at your school. So yeah, that's life behind. Beyond, Beyond high school. high school. Yeah. Thank you for asking us, Manny. My friend Manny asked Shout us. Shout out to Manny. Um, next, we have my friend Camille. She said... Hi, Camille. Hi, Camille. I love you. She said, what is your favorite college memory so far? Hmm. You go first. Okay, wait. Um... I don't know what my favorite college memory is. I'm looking through my photos right now. I'm not being, I'm trying to see if I have something from my photos that just reminds me of my favorite college memory. Um, 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 okay, I guess this is like, okay, so for, what's up? I'm thinking. Okay, um, <laughs> I don't have like a favorite favorite I have a couple that like come to mind so my first one is when my um my friend Alex Yulin from Berkeley came to visit us and it was an, an okay so in our like little friend group it was me my other friend um Tiffany and my roommate Alyssa and all of all three of us went to the same high school together and our friend from our high school who goes to UC Berkeley came to visit us and Tiffany's friend who is also I guess my friend acquaintance um he goes to UC Santa Cruz Samuel do you know Samuel Samuel mm -hmm. no anyways he came to visit us too and I feel like I have something on teeth I'm so sorry did he go to Marshall mm-hmm we all went to the same high school did he play volleyball mm-hmm he's like tall no 
you named every <laughs> aspect of it. I think Tiffany was in volleyball. She knows everyone in volleyball. That's all. Okay. Okay. I, anyways, I think I know who it is, but I can't put a face to it. Okay. Anyways, sorry. I have to check if there's something in my teeth. <laughs> there is. <laughs> Anyways, I can't see right now, guys. Like, I seriously cannot see. So, the point was, my favorite college memory. They came to visit us at Davis, like, a random-ass weekend. And it was just a really good weekend. Like, we, it was their first time at Davis. And when they came, they came at night. And we got in and out which is, like, so good. Everyone loves it. And then we went to Dutch Bros. I don't know if you guys have a Dutch Bros. Is that the one are. with a video of the girl and there's like a straw and then they put the whipped cream, whipped cream on the straw and all? Yet. <laughs> that is the place. So we went to Dutch Bros and we all got a drink and Samuel and Alex didn't know what to, to get. So they were just like, oh, surprise me, right? Mm -hmm. And like Dutch Bros is known to have like really nice co workers, like really friendly atmosphere. So we get to like the place the drive through window where we get our drinks and they literally gave them all the same drinks <laughs> so i was the only one who got a different drink because i knew what to order and tiffany ordered something and then samuel and alex just said surprise me and they just gave them what tiffany got <laughs> and it was just so anticlimactic because we thought it was going to be like you know an, like an, an, exciting, an, an drink. exciting drink because that's what dutch bros is known for yeah. but we just got like we all just got the same shit <laughs> anyway so then we got back to my place and my place as if I, my dorm and then we just like ate and chilled and talked and we were planning to go out but we were just all so tired but it was just nice like having a night in with like friends like I feel like that's always nice and then the next day we woke up and we got crepes for breakfast and then we went to the farmer's market and then we visited the cows and it was just like a really fun weekend like just really good conversations with really good people and I remember that night I was sharing the bed with Alex and I have like a twin it's tiny so we were like sharing the bed and she was like in the inside and I was on the outside and it was about like 3 a.m and I was trying to have like deep ass conversations <laughs> and I was just laying there and Alyssa was on the other side in her bed and I just asked like a really thought-provoking question and no one responded and I'm like hello is anyone still awake and I turned and they're all like asleep and I was like damn that's really how it be yeah so that's a good memory and um hollow weekend was also really fun hollow weekend that's what we call it in Davis. that's so funny yeah that was fun and also there's a time in like september or october my family visit visited me and my ex was <laughs> he came up with my family and it was just a really good time because we went down to san francisco and we just like hung out and like san francisco is so fun so that was also a good weekend even though that's not really college related i, I think it is it is yeah it was a experience you had in college exactly so there are a couple of my favorite college experiences annika um i don't know i feel like i like i i have memories of like my birthday my friends Oh my god, my birthday was fun too! <laughs> what did you do on your birthday? I don't know. I mean, I do know, but... My birthday's on November 13th. And on November 12th, 12 a.m., all my friends came barging my dorm. Yeah, me too. And I was pissed! Why were you pissed? Because I had a midterm the next day at 8 a.m. Oh my god, you're so annoying. It's your birthday. I know. And they were like, HAPPY BIRTHDAY! And I was like, SHUT UP! I have to wake up! in like seven hours and i did not study oh so i was God. like freaking out <laughs> and i was like i'd rather sleep than, i don't know i was being a really <laughs> i was being a bitch so i'm sorry but then the next day it was just really <laughs> i was so mean i was like get out of my room <laughs> you're such school first and then the next morning i apologized but then like i just felt very loved that day <laughs> Like, November 13th, and then, not November 12th, 12th, but yeah, and then for dinner, like, we went out to my favorite restaurant in Davis, it's a Thai place, Ooh. and I was just with all my close girlfriends, and then we got dessert at, like, my favorite dessert place, and it was just, like, a good time, because it was, like, all my favorite food, but yeah, <laughs> I was so mean, I was like, get the fuck out of here. 
<laughs> Anyways, go on. So at 12 a.m. on my birthday, um, this is how we're different now. Why? Because I, of your well, reaction, okay, probably different. I had already finished finals, so my birthday was on finals week, mm -hmm. and I was done with finals, but I stayed because I wanted to hang out with my friends. So they all showed up to my door, and they they got me ice cream from this place that it's like it's like a dorm food place like a market eh. oh it, it was gelato I love gelato. so it's like uh i don't know what you call them dining hall it's not a dining hall because it's like only takeout but it's like a dining hall. okay that's not the point anyways they got me gelato from there and i love the gelato from there and it was really good and then they they we sang and it was nice mm. And um, and then we watched like a movie in my other friend's room, and it was like, it was a weird movie. It was like, oh, who is that? I think it's the it's Adam Sandler. You don't like Adam Sandler. And he was like a hairdresser. I don't remember. The it's it's like the Legend of Zohan. No, uh -huh. it was such a weird movie, but it was good. <laughs> and we ate pizza. Nice. And then another memory. Oh my god. So during like October of 2019, UCLA almost burned down because the the mountains, there was a huge brush fire right next to UCLA. And so our, our all of our classes were canceled and everyone just like just didn't know what to do so we all went to target and we went shopping and we went to like this um thrift store that's near and it's just talking about this is so weird because like we can't do these things anymore we really can't and like i remember the day that classes were canceled because of coronavirus everyone was acting the same way as they were when classes were canceled because of freaking the fire mm. and like this was like when masks weren't a thing yet social distancing wasn't in place and like everyone was just so excited like oh my gosh you don't have class because of the fucking coronavirus you know mm -hmm. and it, it's like a good atmosphere in there because like everyone is happy when usually everyone's like oh my god i hate finals i hate school like kill mm -hmm. me you know and i don't know it was just fun <laughs> I just like it when other people are happy. Yeah. It makes me also happy and, like, comfortable to, like, be myself. Got it. It's a good memory. Yeah. Camille also said, talk about how boys ain't shit. Eliminate most men 2020. Yeah, most men. Yeah. Very big believer that men are trash until proven innocent and then can be proven to be trash again. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. I, we had a conversation about the men are trash. Men are trash. Thing. I mean, like, obviously, men are trash. But sometimes they're chill. Mm -hmm. You know? That can go for women, too. Yeah, for sure. There's lots of trash women. <laughs> but I love a lot of women. More than you love. More than I love a lot of men. Oh, God. Just gonna put that out there. Alyssa Lingod, my ex-roommate, said, what are your career goals? Mm. Well, mine have changed because of the coronavirus, mm -hmm. so that sucks. Why? Well, okay, so I wanted to go into, like... Did you finish your bowl? Yeah, I did. Do you want mine? Mm, no. Why? It's too cold. What do you mean it's too cold? <laughs> I'm full. Okay, we can share. Go on. Okay. Um, I want to go into, like, events. And events planning but events don't really exist right now that's true and they're probably gonna change a lot to the point where it's not fun for me anymore so now I kind of want to go into like social media and PR Ooh, cool. but I don't know it's okay don't feel rushed to like choose yeah, a career wherever goal. there's so much the wind time takes me Sure. Right now I have like two jobs in social media technically. So yeah. I'm just going with the flow. Nice. Yeah. Um, my career goals is I wanna be a like a counselor 
like a psychologist for a nonprofit organization for low income communities. My dream job, technically, if anyone from the Harmony Project is watching this, my dream job is job. My dream job is to work for you as like a psychologist. <laughs> you know <what? laughs> but yeah, that is my dream job. Harmony Project is a nonprofit organization that gives mu free music lessons to those in low income communities. Shout out to HP. Yes, we were a part <laughs> of it. So I really love what they do there, and I love music. And um, one of the psychologist workers there, um, she has like my dream job. So that's that. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know who this person is. Who is it? Dump General. Oh, that's Stephanie. Shout out to Stephanie. That's my ex-roommate. <laughs> Favorite foods and restaurants slash fast food cafe recommendations. Ooh. I love a good burrito. That's all I gotta say. From where? Oh my gosh, you know, I've been trying to get Edwin to take me to Homestate. I love Homestate. What oh. is Homestate? Homestate is... They have one, I think it's like local, but they have one in like Las Feliz and in, pa no, Highland Park. And it's just breakfast tacos and just tacos in general and you dip it in queso and it's so good. It's my favorite food or one of my favorite places to eat here in LA. She yeah. took me once and I only had like two or three tacos and I was full. I was very surprised. They're good. Yeah, they're really good. I really want some. I've been thinking about it for a while now. We should get home safe for our <laughs> next episode. It's so, it's really filling. Like I can, I'll eat like two and a half or three maybe. And you're like stuffed. Yeah. And they're queso. It's so surprising though. Cause they're small. Yeah. They're like little, they, they roll they're in the burritos. Really it's tiny. weird. Yeah. Okay, okay. Your turn. Um, shit. I wasn't ready. I Wait. love norms. Everyone knows I love norms, I norms. but I, I love norms for like no reason. Like it's, it's mediocre. But it's so good. They have everything I could ever want there. Okay, let me think. She said local? No, just favorite foods and restaurants. I love food. pancakes. Any mm -hmm. place with pancakes has my heart. Fast food and cafe recommendations. Fast food, like, I'm gonna get hate for saying this, but Chick fil A. I was gonna say Chipotle. Chipotle? I fucking love, I love Chipotle. Chipotle. In and out. Um, yeah, that, in and that's out all food. I can think of. Like Chick Chick Fil A, Chipotle. Like, but in and out is so far. It is like I don't go in it to In and Out, like on the. Boot. That's like a fast food that I like. Literally Chipotle. If I need fast food, I eat Chipotle. Chipotle is so good. Yeah. Okay. Um, Camille also asked, "What are you most excited for during the upcoming school year, even though it's online?" LOL. I don't know. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Getting units in yeah, for honest, sleeping through classes. <laughs> don't sleep through your classes. I'm just kidding. Honestly, I don't I even know. have like something big to look forward to for the next fall. I still don't know if I'm going like up back to Davis or staying here. But like, I guess just getting units done. Learning more. Even though it's not really learning. But like, yeah, that's it. That's all I can think about. Like, there's not going to be any events. And I'm not going to see like my college friends. So... If I don't go up there, but yeah. Yeah, there's no brew and bash. Usually we have like a big concert thing at the beginning of the year to like ring in the new year, you know? Mm -hmm. And last year they had the baby, And usually they have oh people God. who are gonna be like big later on. Uh -huh. Like Megan Thee Stallion has been there. Oh, wow. Rico Nasty has been there. Wow. And like, I can't have it. I'm so, I work for the comp like the the organization who runs so. it, so I was supposed to be a part of it. Oh, so you're not looking for it? To I can't. I yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's. I mean. I okay. So the people who do that, it's called CAC, and it's like the Cultural Affairs Commission, and they do these things called. It's like concerts in a coffee shop like on campus mm -hmm. but now they're not going to do it on campus so i don't know how that's going to work but i guess i'm excited for that mm. unless you have something small to look forward to it's always nice to look forward to something yeah <laughs> um a lot of people not a lot of people but like a we got some reoccurring things about childhood memories funniest childhood memories funny weird childhood memories that is different general. people uh Alyssa, camille and step on me okay. said so childhood memories yeah um 
Annika's an only child. I am an only child. I have one brother. Um, a childhood memory I have that just is the first one that comes to mind is like on my eighth birthday, I went to the Cheesecake Factory. Do you hear that car, guys? <laughs> I went to the Cheesecake Factory and my dad was like being such a B-I-T-C-H and he made me cry and he made me take a photo with him and that photo is just glued to my memory now. I will show the photo. Do you know what photo I'm talking about? No. Really? At the Cheesecake Factory? Yeah. The only photo I can think of you like young is like the picture of you and your brother using the fries from the oh, as face. Things. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, no. So yeah, that was like my birthday. It's not like a good memory, but it's just so funny. Why can I not find it? <laughs> can y'all see that? We can insert it. We'll insert it because it's so funny. <laughs> like... I look miserable. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, what the heck? But yeah, that's a childhood memory. It was like my birthday and my dad was just being so mean to me and I started crying. <laughs> but yeah, I don't like have any, like, nothing comes to mind. Like, I have a funny one. Okay, go for it. So, when I was little, I thought I was Chinese. Oh my God. Because I didn't know what Asian Asian people looked like. Yeah. I didn't know there was various types of Asian. And okay, I was like four years old at this point. So it's like, that makes sense, right? Yeah. No one told, okay, so I'm mixed, right? And my dad's black and white and my mom's yeah. Filipino. She just looks like a Asian woman, I don't know. And I love Chinese food. Chinese food was my favorite food. Yeah. So I thought, oh, Chinese people are Asian. I like Chinese. I like Chinese food. I am Chinese. Oh my god. <laughs> I also didn't know I had a middle and last name. Oh my god. So I showed up to like preschool and they asked me like, what's your last name? I'm like, my name's Annika. Oh my god. And they're like, no, but your last name. I'm like, Annika, I don't know what you want from me. And I didn't know how to spell my, my name. Aww. Yeah. And for the longest time, I didn't know how to spell my middle name. Oh my god. Like, it literally took me into, like, sixth grade. <laughs> That's what I learned. It's too long. And there's, like, vowels next to each other. What the heck is that? Jesus Christ. Yeah. I miss being young. Yeah, me too. I have this, um, this little diary, I guess, from elementary school when I lived in Texas. And it was, like, I found it the other day when I was cleaning. And one of the, like, entries says... Today I have a spelling test. I promise I won't make any mistake. <laughs> and I was like, this bitch is so stupid. Like, she thinks she's so smart, but she's really not. But yeah, it's just so nice to look over childhood memories. But I can't think of any that's like, you know? Okay, I think we can fit in one more question. If we have, uh... How long do we have, I guess? Too? We're at 33. Oh, wow, look at us. Yeah. Um, um, do you have any funny college stories? <laughs> I do, but I don't know if I do too, but I don't think it's appropriate yeah. to say <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I have, let's just say, I went somewhere. It ended up with me throwing up all over their front porch. Oh, where did you go? <laughs> but that is all I'm gonna say. And that, yeah, yeah, your turn. <laughs> I mean, like, I can't say it. Okay, wait. <laughs> Let me think of another one. <laughs> I Do you guys hear me. this car? What a BIT stage. I, I have one that I want to tell. Tell it. I can't. Okay, sorry guys. She's <laughs> being really rude and not telling us. But yes, we do have funny college stories. But all, <laughs> then again, we're also only... We're only first years well, and... Not, like a whole quarter was taken from us. Yeah. So not that many. But yeah. I think it's a good place to end off because this car is being really weird motorcycle. I don't know. It's like purring. Do you guys see that? I don't know. 
Okay, well, thank you for coming in today and tuning in to episode 10 of Snacks Our Snacks and, and Stories. Next week, let us know what you want us to eat. We might have home steak, who knows? Let us know what you want us to talk about. And yes, have anything to say? Make sure you follow us at stuff and down below. link down below. And um, there will be like pop things where you can press like subscribe. 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 Like and subscribe and Thank comment you know. down below. Um, a funny childhood story. Funny childhood story, college story. Funny story. Yeah, tell us a funny story. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.